Today is World Pinhole Photography Day. It's 1.30 in the afternoon now, and I haven't taken a single shot yet. The basic principle behind the day is to get everyone shooting pinhole photography at the same time, which is always the last Sunday in April. And this year's theme is indoors, uh, for quite obvious reasons, I'd say. Um, and it actually works out really well uh, in my favor because the weather's not the greatest outside. Uh, it's actually quite miserable. Uh, someone forgot to tell Quebec that it's spring. There's even snow in the forecast this week. Oh my God, I can't believe that. Snow in April, yeah. Um, and also my neighbor is gonna be spreading liquid pigment here on the fields. Uh, so it's a really, really, really great time to be staying indoors. I do consider myself to be one of the lucky ones in that I have 200 acres to play around on on the farm. Um, but my indoors does consist of a very tiny living space in the trailer. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna focus more on all of our outbuildings uh, that are around the farm so that I can stay within the theme of indoors, but I am you know, taking it a little loosely and moving around a little bit. Um, but we're gonna be starting it off in here today in our machine shed. I have never shot pinhole before and I actually just got my very first pinhole camera in the mail this week. Talk about really good timing. I uh, found this little beauty on eBay. I picked it up for about $80 Canadian, uh, which is a pretty good price. There's a lot of really great pinhole cameras out there if you are looking for one, uh, and I know I'm gonna end up picking up uh, at least one more. <laughs> but for now, I decided to start with this one. Um, so this one was made in London, Ontario, and I'll give you the link to the eBay seller down below so you can check it out after the video. Uh, this one has an aperture of f-150 and an approximate focal length of about 30 millimeters. Um, the widest I shoot on my RB67 is 90 millimeters, so I literally have no idea what this is going to give me. Um, I'm really hoping this isn't just going to be some crap roll full of off compositions and weird stuff, but who knows? <laughs> uh, I'm trying this out for the first time, so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm hoping that it'll get easier as time goes by, but for now this is what we're going to be starting with. Uh, so I have an idea for my first shot, uh, so let's go over there and check it out. So I have this set up and going already on the scene behind me, and I have it loaded with a roll of HP5. Uh, I wanted the higher ISO because I am shooting indoors, uh, and this already has an exposure time of seven and a half minutes. So I figured anything slower than 400 ISO uh, would be too slow for me, uh, at least as a starting off point. Um, and I've also heard that it has really good reciprocity failure, so I figured I'd see how it would all work out. I'm using the um, Pinhole Calculator app, uh, that's for Android phones, um, and it seems really simple to use. You input your EV, your aperture, and your film speed and type, and it calculates the uh, exposure speed for you, including reciprocity failure. I am taking my own notes offside as well uh, for my own personal learning experience and I'm assuming as time goes on I'll probably rely more on my own learning rather than an app but this seemed like a really great starting point. Uh, so this is just about ready to be closed up, uh, finishing off my first exposure. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting.
Okay, so I've got the camera set up and the shutter is open on the other side of this tractor and it's uh, gonna be going for about 12 and a half minutes. So I thought I'd come over on the other side and use this air compressor to kick up some of the dirt and maybe create a bit of atmosphere. I don't know, just sounds like fun anyways. So I feel like, uh, you know, I've been working with the space as is, uh, playing around with some of the machinery and stuff, but uh, I'm starting to feel a little limited in my ideas, I guess. Uh, so I thought that I would kind of clean up the surface, this table here, and start to focus in on maybe some of the tools, try some close-up stuff. Um, I might even end up moving some tractors uh, or playing around with some with self portraits as well. Uh, just kind of trying to visualize a little bit with the space uh, and the lighting that I have. Luckily, since I've been shooting inside, it's all continuous light. Uh, but I do have some pretty long exposure times, so I'm also kind of trying to come up with some ideas to shorten those a little bit. But for now, we're going to clear this off and uh, set up some some scenes here.
I can't believe I shot an entire roll of film here today. I mean, that impresses even myself. I know, I know, I had a couple of accidental double exposures there, but you know, I still count it as a win. Uh, it is my first time trying, uh, so I did forget to wind after a couple of shots, but it's going to happen, I think. <laughs> but mechanically speaking, though, this camera was a lot of fun to use. Uh, really easy. It seemed to turn, like everything seemed to turn really smoothly. So at least in that aspect, I think that this is really working out. I really can't wait to see what these images look like. So if you're like me and you're into pinhole photography but don't really know where to start, uh, the internet was where I went to. Uh, Emulsive.org recently published an article, and I'll give you the link down below, uh, all about World Pinhole Photography Day. So there's a lot of inspiration and tips that can be found there. Uh, as well, you can check out some podcasts, uh, maybe some zines, or even reach out to fellow photographers in some film uh, Facebook groups, uh, you know, groups dedicated to film photography. Uh, I happen to reach out to a couple of photographers that I know that do pinhole photography, and they really helped me out, gave me some good tips, uh, even some articles that they have written. So reach out to people. Um, anyways, I'm starting to ramble on now. I am just really excited. I can't wait to go and develop this role, so I'm going to get to it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.